Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where we still haven't found any water. That's going to be exciting, <laughs> to be sure. But we are getting our concrete extractor online, and uh, yeah, it looks like it only goes in this angle. So we might have to, like, move this eventually. Oh, is our sterling generator not generating enough power? Total production 20, total demand 36.8. Okay, so we're going to need additional power for when our solar panels are offline. Can we see what the wind speed would be here? We would only get an 8% elevation boost. So how much would that actually generate? The wind turbine, or the large wind turbine even. 5 to 10. Okay, we do have a second sterling generator available. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stick that over by our drone hub. There we go. Leak detected. Hang on, what's this? This section of the grid has malfunctioned and it's now leaking. It can be repaired by drones. Losing... Okay, so that's why we're losing so much power. I gotcha. But that's still fine. You are... Okay, we are repairing it. Sterling Generator Fault Testing fringe technology in a fringe environment is always unpredictable. The rapid increase of cable faults ever since we turned on our first Sterling Generator connected to the grid hints at some gross mi miscalculation stewing from the fringiness of it all. Our scientists have laid down the research needed to be done to fill in the potholes in the original Sterling Generator designs. Research the Sterling Generator Cable Faults tech to, to fix the issue. Until then, keep in mind that cable faults won't appear when sterling generators are turned off. Okay, so we need to research that tech. Where is that? We don't know? Oh, here. I want to queue this on top. That's kind of a top priority thing. Okay, that's also a story bit, so that's nice. Okay, we are good to go again. Excellent. Now, of course, we don't have power over here. I knew that would be the case because we needed to uh, clear up the rocks here to be able to build through here. But now we can, and so we can extract some concrete. Perhaps too much concrete. Do we send this rocket back to Earth? I mean, actually we can't. We, need, we would need to refuel it. And for that, I believe we need water. Uh, production, fuel refinery. It consumes power and water and produces fuel. Okay. So where Sector can we get scanned. water? Anomaly found. An anomaly, huh? What is this anomaly? We are detecting anomalous readings at this location. An RC Explorer can analyze the anomaly. Well, we don't have an RC Explorer right now. We have an RC Dozer. So I think we are going to have to wait on that particular anomaly. Which is a little bit unfortunate. However, uh, one thing we can do is we can request another rocket, right? Um, where can we do that? I know there's a place here. Yeah, resupply. So we have cargo rocket here, and I want to send an RC Explorer for sure. I don't think we need any prefab buildings. Bring in maybe like three additional drones. I don't think we need an RC transport right now. Concrete, metals, food we don't need currently. Polymers and machine parts, we might need a few of those. Let's bring like 20 of each, as well as 10 electronics. I don't know, maybe like 10 seeds. Maybe like 20 seeds. And then we could bring one more thing. We could bring a drone. There we go. Okay, and it's on the way. Fantastic. We still have $3.6 billion in funding, so we should be fine on that front. And we'll just bring that guy in ASAP.
Okay, how's our tech coming here? We're 5% done. Interesting. Well, we weren't we weren't going to be getting anything from our tech that we were researching until we got the RC Explorer anyway. So it's fine that we're researching this first, I guess. Russia has completed the milestone of finding water on Mars. Well, we never really had a chance. Okay, we also have a landscaping opportunity here, and that is specifically to flatten out this direction. And we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay. So where is that second rocket? It's 30% of the way here, I guess. So that could be, be a bit exciting. We may want to build a power accumulator. Perhaps. Where would we want to build this battery at? Perhaps somewhere like, I don't know, I don't want it close to these extractors, right? But I also don't want it up here, because this is where all of our power is, basically. Maybe we should build a new section, like up over here. Build a cable going up this way. Kind of like this. And then put a power accumulator up over here. Something kind of like that. Okay, I don't actually want that queued. <laughs> there we go. And let's just continue surveying around us. Okay, we can't go higher than nine. Sounds good. Oh, another leak. That's why we need that tech. Okay, it's already being worked on. There we go. Problem solved. And our rocket will be here shortly. It's almost 90% of the way here. Excellent. So, hypothetically, what would it take to do this? <laughs> like, Hang on, how, how do we increase our uh, T? Okay, I got it. Hypothetically, what would this take? I'm willing to bet a lot? Yeah, that would require a lot of waste rock. Luckily, we're producing waste rock. Go do it. I have no idea what that's going to do for, like, these bits here. Or these bits out here that aren't quite covered. But we'll see. We'll see what that ends up doing. But yeah, we're producing a fair amount of waste rock, so this should be okay. Realistically. Hey, and our other rocket is ready to land. I'm going to go ahead and land it down here. Here it comes. Excellent. And here's our RC Explorer. Go get this anomaly. Yeah, uh, go get this anomaly. Oh, this is a research site? Hang on, where's the anomaly? The anomaly is up over here. Oh, it's hidden behind the rocket. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> there we go. What's the anomaly? Excellent. Oh, the anomaly is water? Or what? It just said water production, so I'm guessing this is water? I don't know. We'll find out. Eventually. We are still requiring additional waste rock up here, but we'll get that eventually. Milestone achieved. Excellent. We scanned an anomaly. You'd think the explorer had found buried treasure the way our scientists were reacting. It was a sulfur-rich regolith. 
the Explorer vehicle gathered various soil sampl samples from far and wide around the anomaly site and fed us the data. For hours, the telemetry was filled with buzzing chatter as the scientists at Mission Control discussed the implications of the element and made inventive plans about the future. The time of the expedition was limited, and we urged them to make a final decision. So we could either concentrate effort on gathering as many samples as possible and I think gain a thousand science? Or we could focus on geochemical analysis of the most sulfide-rich samples, reduces the cost of engineering techs by 10%. Period? For the rest of the game? That's going to be worth way more than a thousand science. If that's the case, we definitely grab that. Okay, that was pretty worthwhile. Well, let's continue unloading stuff. And realistically, I think I'm going to go ahead and use some orbital probes. Because... Sector scanned. We need some water. <laughs> so I'm going to use three of them for right now. And we'll, we'll hold the fourth in reserve. So this here is underground rare metals. And this is a Vista. Okay. Well, that's not water. In that case, we're going to need to build like a sensor tower. Because we need to find water ASAP. So let's go ahead and set up a sensor tower right here. And the storage space is full here. On the Universal Depot, I think. Perhaps? Or maybe its own storage is full? I'm not sure which. Yeah, I think its own storage is full. They need to move it out of there. The drones do, but they're kind of overworked right now. That's okay. I'm not in a huge rush to get the concrete. We have plenty of concrete for right now. Yeah, they're, they're mostly just trying to get the waste rock up to here, is what they're doing. Makes sense. Okay, so we now have a sensor tower, so we can now scan much more quickly. I'm gonna go ahead, actually, and use our final orbital probe Anomaly over here. Found. And that was worthwhile. Okay, I keep trying to hit escape to get out of that for some reason. I don't know why. Let's go ahead and bring the RC Explorer up here to scan this science anomaly. However, we do finally see that we have some water. And we need to exploit that. So let's go ahead and start building ourselves a power cable out towards the water. So like, I'd like to bring it up to here, and then maybe like straight over here. And yeah, it's too far from a working drone commander, so we'll have to set up a second drone depot over on this side, but that's okay. We do have a second drone hub available. So I'm just going to place that right there, and that'll have plenty of radius. Excellent. And then we're going to need to get ourselves Research a complete. water extractor. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, we have a lot of things going on here. So we scanned a sector. Our concrete extractors aren't working. I'm fine with that. There's a heavy load on our drones. We're working on it. Research complete. Greenhouse Mars. Okay, it completed that. I gotcha. Because we completed the uh, the Sterling Generator cable faults. Yep. Okay. And now it is working on Explorer AI. I'm fine with that. We also reduced our cost for engineering techs. Rocket cargo space increased by 10,000 kilograms. That's not bad. We'll go ahead and do that next. Okay. Temperature, yeah, we're aware of that. Anomaly analyzed. Sterling generator fault. Ultimately, the issues caused by the Sterling generator turned out to be connectivity problems. After doing extended research on the subject, we not only removed said problems, but we actually increased the power efficiency of our Sterling generators. They produce 25% more power now. That is nice. Okay, so I'm going to put a water extractor 
right here. It is currently too far from a working drone commander. I'm well aware of that. But that's fine. Okay, so we don't, we would then need... And oh, we need prefab parts for a moisture evaporator? Okay. Well, we're going to need one of them eventually. But I'm going to go ahead and build some pipes along here to over this way. And then we are going to go ahead and build a water tower to store some water. Because we're going to need to store some water for some amount of time. I'm going to build one right there for now. I have absolutely no reason for anything that I'm doing, and this is completely haphazard, and I have no idea what's going on. And it's glorious. It's also time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.